part of the um, project that we're doing for my daughter is uh, a chopping board, a cheese board, and we're going to do our colour on, on, on the end. Um, this is a piece of uh, scrap material that I've used for the chopping board. You can buy this sheeting from Bunnings in a, in a large sheet, uh, like a bench top sheet, and you can make your own. I've got my, my own tools, so it is easy for me to do it. Um, and rather than an open handle, I have got uh, I've cut in handle reliefs on the back, so so when we're picking picking it up, it's easy to pick up and transfer. Now, what I wanted to show you was we've taped off our edge there for the colouring, but one of the tricks I'd like to show you is to cut a line using an X-Acto knife uh, right along that. It severs what it does. It severs the fibres. And therefore your paint or your resin or whatever you're using here will run up and fill that um, that cut so it'll be filled you'll not you won't see it but as we tip take the tape away that stops it running underneath and uh, so we'll go ahead and do that just measuring on the uh, where we've got our tape line and uh, Yes, yeah, so so it's important that that we're able to to do that, and that's as I said, it stops the the running underneath. So just score that a couple of times. So there we are. We're left with a a quite a a, a deep line, but as I said, when we come up. And, and paint that the, the um, or resin that the resin is going to fill that little hole little, little gap but it's going to stop there and stop any flow underneath the tape and then we can just take the tape straight off okay